All right, so uh, up on the show, we have one championship, one Atomway championship, uh, Angela Lee. How are you doing today? Thank you for being on the show. Hey, guys. I'm um, doing great. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, you know, um, so let's get straight to it. Like, you, yeah. you recently had a, a, a pretty bad car accident um, that kind of made you uh, pull out of your championship fight. Back in November. Yeah, yeah. so kind of, kind of go through that and that experience and, and how you're feeling now. Um, yeah, man, that was, uh, probably one of the craziest things that's ever happened to me. Um, I was training really hard, getting ready for my, um, title defense in November. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was real early in the morning. We have early morning practices. I was on my way, um, to the gym and, uh, you know, just was too tired and, and it was, you know, really dark outside and just wasn't paying attention for a split second. And, um, my car hit the guardrail and just flipped over a bunch of times. So, um, I was pretty shaken up after that. Mm -hmm. Um, physically, luckily I, I wasn't too, too injured anywhere. Yeah. Um, but it just took some time, you know, mentally, emotionally to heal up from that. Um, you know, I got a good rest over the holidays, just spending a lot of time at home with family and things like that. And, um, you know, now in this new year, I'm feeling, recovered and you know better than ever so yeah. i'm excited got another fight scheduled and i'm happy to just jump right back in yeah you're fighting uh this coming may um mm -hmm. now, now you you're wearing your seatbelt obviously um that, that was probably one of the luckiest things uh to come out of that was the fact that you're wearing your seatbelt you weren't seriously hurt um mm -hmm. what, what kind of car were you driving at that time um, I was driving uh, an Audi. I just I just got it, so oh. <laughs> thank God for insurance. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, hey, hey, Audi, Audi, you flipped over what six times, five, six times, and then you got a you know it's a pretty good uh, crash test risk. Yeah, <laughs> it's a it's yeah. definitely a, it's a good car, it's a yeah, reliable yeah. car to have. So, I mean, um, I I'm just so lucky to come out of it, you know, mm -hmm. the way I did, and I couldn't be more grateful. Are, cool. you, are, are you getting like Uber drivers now to, to and from practices? <laughs> no, we, we don't really <laughs> use Uber in, here, in oh, Hawaii. Okay. Everyone <laughs> drives. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just, I have a simple truck. I'm just going to make do with, yeah. with that. Not really focus um, too much on that. But yeah, definitely wearing my seatbelt every time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and soreness, how was that? Because I've been in a couple of uh, car accidents myself. And some, not even my fault, but I just happened to be in the car at the time. You 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 You're... Very sore have to you know afterwards. So were you were you just sore all over the place? Yeah, I was sore in you know places that you know mostly with with the seatbelt, and then I, I hit my head against the the side of the car too with the airbag. But um, mm, you know, I just felt like I was I was in a fight. Really, yeah. I was like, oh, I feel like I got out of a fight. <laughs> oh I'm sore God. in all these places. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, well, we're, we're glad that you're back uh, yeah. in action and and. Uh, Let's move away from the bad news and, and kind of focus on the good news. Which, like, you recently got your black belt in uh, in jujitsu, uh, so congratulations on that. And how's that feel? You know, after you know, com competing years of training, and, uh, training, you finally had that black belt. Yeah, that's probably um, wow. I I was so excited the day that uh, you know my brother and I we got promoted together. Wow. And since we started the journey together, really, you know, been each other's training partners since we were so little. Yeah. Um, it's just a comp compilation of all these years of hard work of training of competitions you know just dedication um to martial arts and uh to be recognized for that with a black belt is a very proud proud moment for me so um super stoked but still just the beginning yeah and and in terms of like your trainer for jujitsu is, is your father right is or is it he's one of them right yeah so my dad he is you know, been the, the main, uh, coach in my life since, mm -hmm. since forever. And, um, you know, through the years we've had lots of friends come in the gym, come and go, you know, really high level black belts. Um, and one of the guys at our gym now is, uh, Mike Fowler. Yeah. Um, he's a super highly decorated, um, BJJ black belt long time already. And, um, you know, he started coming in and, and, uh, he actually had an MMA fight. My dad was coaching him, and he had a MMA fight here in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. um, we're super good friends, and uh, you know, my my dad was like, "Hey, man, I think that you know it'd be it'd be a 
a good thing if uh, Mike promoted um, me and Christian just because of, you know, in, in jiu-jitsu, they have all these uh, politics and everything yeah. with, with the rankings and stuff. But, um, you know, I'm super honored to be receiving it from Mike, but also I know that it's all these years of, of training from my dad and, and things like that. Yeah, awesome. Um, how is it now being being married? Like, like you recently, well, not recently, you got engaged. You got engaged. That's it. It's been a big year for you, yeah, right? It's been a big year. It's been a big black, year. Yeah. Like, yeah. Since the black house, and now you're going to get married. Um, uh, lots lots of extreme things happened. Um, it's It's been wild, man. I mean, uh, we got engaged in, um, in September, yeah. and he came over to Hawaii, and we got my dad's blessing. Um, in October, and then the car accident happened, you know, close to the beginning of November. Oh, yeah. no. And, um, <laughs> but since then, I mean, uh, the amount of support I've had from, from my fiancé, you know, it's it was the scariest thing for him because he wasn't here at the moment when yeah. it happened. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think that <sighs> through all these, uh, you know, like, ups and downs, it, it totally strengthens us, and um, especially now he's going to be moving to Hawaii um, nice. to to be closer to me and to, you know, help me prepare for my next fight. So I'm super excited for, you know, for him to come here. Uh, it's been a, a long time, you know, one year, like, being back and forth. So yeah, to finally well. be stationed somewhere together is awesome. Yeah, and he and he also fights. So, the, you know, for those who don't know, you're... you're you guys are two uh, a badass, uh, you know, dangerous couple right there. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's I can't like stress enough like how awesome it is to have someone who like really understands your lifestyle and and kind of knows what you go through. Yeah. It uh it really helps a lot. <laughs> yeah, um, and you know, and it's it's crazy to think that in 2014 you you pretty much like you're an amateur fighter, and in 2015 you're a, a pro. And just like three short years later, like you're a champion for the biggest promotion in Asia. I mean, how does that feel? And and uh, it, like it, it must be overwhelming knowing that you're a champion in under three years. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's it's crazy to see how much has happened in such little time. Um. I remember after I graduated high school in 2014, mm -hmm. I told myself I was like, I really want to dedicate. Um, you know, these next couple of years to training hard and uh, becoming a professional fighter. I just had that goal in my mind. Um, so I was actually taking a full load of courses in college. Yeah. And then I talked with my parents and I said, yeah, I really want to give this a shot. And so they supported me through that. And um, I probably wouldn't be here today if I was still, you know, doing the whole university thing. So I think it's just, um, you know, everything happens for a reason. And um, I, I'm so grateful that I'm here today living this life. Like, it, it really feels like a, a dream come true for That's me. Awesome. Um, so just enjoying every step of the way. Yeah. And, and talk about the reception that you get uh, back home, obviously in Hawaii, like a lot of the, the love you get. Is it, it's, you know, how does that compare to, you know, being over, spending most of your career over in Asia, and that's where you're, you're, you spend a lot of your fighting career. Um, but then coming back home, you know, how's, that, how's the love over there? Oh, I, I love Hawaii so much, man. They 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 are crazy about fighters, right? Yeah. So the amount of support that, that we get over here, it's awesome. You know, all the local newspapers and the TV stations and even the, the local restaurants when you go inside and everyone kind of just knows who you are, but they don't get too starstruck, you know? But yeah. they're just like, oh, it's awesome what you're doing. Come up, shake your hand, take a picture. And that's like everywhere. Wow. So, you know, whenever we have a fight coming up, everyone's hyped about it. Whenever, you know, we come back home from a fight. I mean, people at the airport already know me by now, man. It's, <laughs> it's, it's super cool. Um, and it just makes me really proud to, to be from Hawaii and to be representing them when I fight as well. Uh, yeah, because, you know, Max Holloway, the featherweight champion, like, he's, he's, he's always, like, telling the UFC to bring a fight to Hawaii. Yeah. Is that something that, yeah. that's, like... Like a dream of yours to fight in, in, in your home state? Like a big promotion, like especially one? That would be awesome. For yeah. sure. I've been telling them. I think that, you know, it's perfect opportunity. Um, I think Hawaii is, is, if you just look at it globally on a map, it's like, it's not too far out from, mm -hmm. from Asia. Um, so I think it would be really great since also there's quite a few uh, fighters in Hawaii from, from one championship as well. My yeah. brother, 
There's um, this Japanese fighter Riku Shibuya. There's Lo and Tainanes who's still on there. So I think it would really be cool. Also for for young up and coming fighters in Hawaii to see like a big promotion like that come to Hawaii and um, be like, you know, this is something that they could like really do as a career, you know, and like sustain themselves and their family and and it's possible to just do what you love and chase your dream. Yeah, awesome. Now your career has been uh, obviously stellar up until this point. You got you you're you've been become what like the face of of one championship basically one FC and what they previously were called. Uh, but you um, talk about that being uh, part of the organization and being like premier, pretty much the face of the organization. I think in a lot of ways. Um, and having that, and do you enjoy that? Do you like that aspect of, of the game, or are you a little bit like to be a little bit more private? What do you think? Um, well, for me, this was all new, right? Yeah. So I think, uh, you know, it's a huge honor. It's a huge responsibility. Um, being their first female champion that they've had in the organization, I think that put a lot of uh, weight on my shoulders as to uh, how I carry myself out. And, and I think that we really connected and aligned up together with the values of their company and the values of who I am as a person. And I think that's why it worked out so well because I just really, I'm out there being myself and, and, um, you know, reaching out to these people. I always, um, I always had this goal in mind that when I started fighting, I wanted to, I wanted it not to be like a selfish thing. Of course you go in there, you do your job and, and fighting is just like, you know, a big majority of it is, is about you. But, uh, I wanted to use this platform to try and reach out to other people, um, other kids, women, and um, up and coming, you know, people around the world like that are trying to get into martial arts and just help with that and then and, and spread the awareness more, especially yeah. throughout the Asia region. I think it's really important. I mean, uh, I'm happy to do it and I love what I do. I get to meet all these incredible people through it. So I think it's a huge honor. That's nice. You know, and before I forget, like um, every time I I think of Hawaii or hear Hawaii, I think of Terry's house. I don't know if you want you ever seen Terry's house on on Netflix, but it's a, it's it's a Japanese reality show. And yeah, oh, cool. Loves yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Anyway, um, <laughs> I know we do too. I do. Yeah, yeah it's, it's an awesome show. But uh, yeah. Anyways, um, just to give us a like your goals for for this year and personally and and professionally. Uh, well, professionally, um, you know, just getting back in the game. Yeah. It's uh, it's been it'll well, when I fight in May, it'll be one year since my last fight, and uh, but since then, you know, I've I haven't taken too much time off. I'm I'm, you know, for the for the car accident, I think I took after the holidays, Christmas and New Year's, I was back in the gym, you know, hitting it hard, mm -hmm. and it's kind of always been a part of the lifestyle. So and there's not a too big uh, a gap and always improving and um in may of this year when, when my third title defense comes around i'm looking to kill it just you know show everyone what my improvements have been like and and uh keep that going you know yeah um and i'm gonna take it one step at a time i'm not gonna overlook this next fight so far but i do have you know a lot of things planned you know when this goes well um as for my next steps uh you know, professionally. Uh, personally, uh, my wedding is going to be in July, so that's nice. a big part of the year as well. Um, it's going to be back home here in Hawaii with Ooh. the whole family. So that's really exciting. I mean, big things coming up, and uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, Josh, I'll go there and, and cover it. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, oh, man, I'm like trying to keep it low key, low key. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> now your your fight's coming up in May. You're, fa you're facing Yamauchi. Um, talk about that. Your your training uh, coming up. It's May 18th, I believe, right? The fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Um, so you know, the good thing is that I fought her before. Yeah. Um, you know, it's been two years since then, and the amount of improvements I've made is just phenomenal. You know, with my with my dad coaching me and everyone in the gym with their support. Um, so I'm really excited to show that I'm a completely different fighter since that last time we fought. I mean, I was 19 years old, and, and since then I've made leaps and bounds of, um, you know, improvements, tightening up my game, and adding new skill sets as well. Yeah. So I think it's going to be a great fight. People are not going to expect it. Um, you know, last time was real back and forth. This time it's going to be very one-sided. 
Awesome. Well, we well we both look forward to that that fight. Uh, we'll both be cheering for you here at home. Um, but yeah, thanks for being on the show. We really appreciate it. You're yeah. um, you're you're really you know sweet and fun to talk to, and, and I'm glad that all that bad stuff went out of the way. And and I always say you know life's greatest blessings come from our deepest pain. So I'm 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 happy that you went through that, that struggle to, to finally you know see the light in, in the future. But um. Yeah, we, we, we both wish you nothing but the best. Yeah. Best of luck on the training camp and, and for the fight. And we look and, forward to uh, it. It's yeah, very much. And before you, awesome. before you go, just Thank you. Uh, give the fans uh, your social media and maybe uh, some sponsors that you want to plug in as well. Sure. Um, you guys can uh, follow me and my journey on Instagram. That's where I'm usually at, uh, Angelo Lee MMA. And I'm also on Facebook, my athlete page, um, Angelo Lee. I'll be definitely hyping up the fight uh, as we get closer to it. And I just want to thank you all for your support. Um, thanks for listening. And, um, yeah, if you're ever in Hawaii, stop by the gym. United uh, MMA Hawaii. <laughs> all right. Nice, nice. All right, take care so much. Thank all you. Right, take thank care, you. Angela. Thank you, Angela. All right, thanks, guys. All right, all right take care. Bye.